We will get that very easy. Okay, that's another uh, question I need to ask. It's Absolutely. Uh, present, um, on the preliminary title report, mm -hmm. it said Let's like take a look at it. 2006, 2007 tax year, they owe like some $6,000 on it. Okay, let's take a look. And that will be cleared out when it's transferred over to you. Okay, that's that's my Absolutely, question. yes. This, uh, well, and even, even more so. There's even, you're right. Okay, so here's probably what you looked at. 2006-2007 tax year delinquent. <laughs> delinquent like and 6, of course they only paid the first installment this past year and they're mm -hmm. still delinquent currently. Mm -hmm. All of this stuff will be cleared out. When it comes to you, out. absolutely zero. Okay. Absolutely, that's what we do. We, as a we will. Company. We will get. We will get clear title. Absolutely, that's that's what we do as the title companies. We check because in addition to things like property tax, of course mm -hmm. property tax is the obvious one, mm -hmm. but different cities like if you don't pay your water bill, the uh -huh. first thing they do is they put it on the property. Uh -huh. Your parking ticket, boom, right there. Everything is you know they know something's going to happen with the house eventually, right? Uh -huh. And they know they always get paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when get, it's sold, they they're, they're, they're know someday happen. they get mm. paid. Okay. So we check all of those things exactly. Okay. Water bills, parking, everything that we can that we can see, we do a search for. Okay. Yes, so that will absolutely come to you. Okay, those are the mm -hmm. two questions that those I Those are the big oh, ones. Another, another, uh -huh. Yeah, the no, big no. one. What another, else? You tell me. Another one is that uh -huh. on the uh, the paper that they prepared earlier. Mm -hmm. Him and I as husband and wife. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I know. I, I told them to uh, take care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you, so that's, I'm glad, I'm glad you jumped ahead because that would have been one of the questions I asked you. How do you want to do your vesting? Joint tenants, tenants uh -huh. in common, what's your favorite style? Uh, or do you want me to give you some information on what the choices are? Give us some information. Okay. So, and I just, this is just uh, your copy package, right? That's some notes for you. Okay, so. Pretty much, I'm guessing for the most part for you guys, there's going to be two choices, mm -hmm. okay? First one is joint tenants. Mm -hmm. That's the advantage. One of you dies, whoever's, whoever's left gets everything. No court, no this, no argument, no boom, just mm -hmm. goes to the other. So technically, at the same time, you each individually own 100%. Uh -huh. It's not 50-50, so it's 100 one. So what doesn't matter who's there 100%, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first choice. Or the other choice is this one always requires you to give us a percentage. So if you want 60, 40, 70, 30, 50, 50, whatever, mm -hmm. it's called tenants in common. So what happens is there's two of you, one of you's left, whoever, whoever's, uh, whoever, you know, passed away, whatever, this part goes to their family, mm -hmm. that, that 50% or 30% or 80%, whatever, goes to their estate. Mm -hmm. This person only still has... 60, 40, whatever, only has 40, yeah, has 60, right. goes to their estate, goes mm -hmm. to whoever. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But that's why you always have to let us know what the percentage is. Okay, now, now mm -hmm. uh, another uh, another thing is that, say, like, if we go with um, joint tenant, mm -hmm. say, like, if he gets sued, right? If he gets sued by something, and then they can go after the 100% of the house. It's, yeah, you can't say, oh, suddenly like I only own 1% of it, only 1% of this. No, 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 uh -huh. no. It's, Right, but in, so, in, in this case, tenants are common. So if he gets sued, or I get sued, they can only come after my. I think they, I, I think yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is something probably more of a refined issue to run towards, you know, an attorney or things like that. Mm -hmm. What we see, so this is a just what rental property business, something what sort of is well, this a house or what's it, the. It's just a, a condo. With, my mom's gonna live there. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> the only reason I, the only reason I was asking is, like sometimes when people get rental, you know, I, they buy the house in the court. It's a rental property. Uh -huh. They just make an LLC. You know, the house is 125 Main Street. They just make a, a limited li liability company, Main Street Liability Company. So if mm -hmm. they get sued, they're really limited. I, I don't know so much of those fine details. That would really be something to put towards an attorney. Mm -hmm. We can kind of give you the general information, the distinction between the two, mm -hmm. two things, which is the joint tenants or tenants in common. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but <clears throat> in this case, if either one of us die, oh, you already told us. Yeah, yeah. Whatever whoever goes to their estate. <clears throat> to their estate. To their, exactly. There is one which is tenancy in common with survivorship, right? If you're if your husband if you want to be husband and wife we could give that to you. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're husband and wife. Uh -huh. It's no, it's called husband. It's <laughs> now I'm confused. Community property with rights of survivorship. Oh, Only okay. available to husband and wife. Oh okay. So, so for you guys, you, it's which but there is case? there is a tenancy in common with survivorship. There is no. Mm -mm. 
The closest one is community property with rights of survivorship. And that's only new to California for about five years. It's not a nationwide thing. It's only in California. So unless you're husband and wife, then you can have that choice. <laughs> but if we're taking off that husband and wife part, then I think these are the only two that are going to be okay. open to you. What do you think? Uh, and and before you before you decide, no uh, pressure. It's not like a game show contest. The clock is ticking clock down, is right? Ticking. No problem. Yeah, no, no, okay. Clock's ticking. <laughs> okay. Even if you choose choose A, choose B, whatever you choose today, right? Mm -hmm. You can change your mind later. You know, mm -hmm. you would just go to you know, if you consult an attorney, they would just do a grant deed for you. So maybe you get a living trust, maybe you do joint tenants right now, and you put your part in a living trust. There's always other options. So whatever you decide today is really just for this moment. You can change it later on. You just go to a real estate attorney. It's one or two forms. very easy to change. Okay. So you don't have to realize, oh, we're really stuck. When are you guys closing this transaction? When are you going to close? We, we should have closed it last week. Oh, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, like I said. What we're doing right now is, is for us right now when we close, we go on record. You can always change it right afterwards. Okay. Absolutely. What do you think? Pressure. Mm. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Don't, again, just think about it while we're going through the rest of the stuff. Okay. Yeah. But, um, anything else? Anything? No, oh, no, 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 now's the time. Shoot okay. those questions at me, I'll tell you. But, but we'll figure it out. So yeah, where can you buy a condo for uh, only eighty-five thousand? Huh? Concord. <laughs> well, but Concord, PV Concord, usually the price is higher because it's the good weather. Yeah. You know, people want the good weather. So yeah. There's still a lot of poverty. There's some more. Yeah. Francis, says no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It, you know the prices these days. Now's the time. That is just crazy. Yeah. Okay, so let's we'll spin this around pretty real quick. Okay, this is out of our way. Get this cleaned up for you a little bit. Let's see. So we're going to go signature for you right here. And this is the, so we can have your signature notarized. Yeah, just right there. Perfect. Okay, press lightly. Right, number, number nine. You can just put that on the floor in the corner. I get it later on. How's that so you can clear some space? It's just yeah. way over there. I know. So we had a bigger table here. But it was a long square one, and it was hard to get around it. Yeah. So we changed to a small this table. Is... So now it's a small table. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the fun, fun the and there's always something, size. right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always. And there you go. And boom, Ratchet thumbprint. All right. I will get your driver's licenses back in a few minutes because I'll run and make a copy and send for them. But okay, so big one. What about the money? So every time you sign, just go ahead and sign Jimmy. And then just initial here. So they'll get the typewriter, they'll XXX nicely and write Jimmy. That's how they'll make the correction for you. Because okay. we can we can do no problem. Oh, you don't want me to sign my last name, right? Just oh, no, no, Jimmy Sam. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy okay. instead of Jim. Oh, That's all I meant to say. <laughs> so, yeah, signature there. Yeah, regular signature. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then just initial there. Perfect. So the initial is when they make the correction, it will say Jimmy in you on the oh. papers. That's why. And then initials for you right here. All right. That big one. What about the money? Right all right, all right. We'll put that there for a sec. Can you make a copy for me too? I will. For uh, the yeah. What's today? Seven, seven. seven. Yeah. Let me go make these copies real quick. Give me two seconds. Yeah. Personally, I do a lot of uh, REO for my past uh, client, and even though brothers and sister, I'm not advising you guys, but my past uh, Asian uh, people, even though they are brothers and sister, they, some of them prefer joint tendency when they don't have a when they don't have a wife, but they also foresee that they may have. Uh, uh, they may marry our children, and uh, it it is a it is something that we can change later. So it is not really really so uh, firm, but it it's really 
or maybe we can ask her